our planet is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war. But there is hope. An object has been detected deep within the Great Banded Desert. It has been called the Jiraki object, the primary anomaly. We believe it may hold the key to our salvation. An expedition to retrieve it is being prepared. Doors at 
Personal log, science officer Rachel Sajet, expedition carrier Capisi. We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. As the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right, that what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond. We have no choice now but to believe. We have successfully entered the open desert and are safe, for now. Before leaving, we received this Gaussian transmission. Attention, Kithid of the North. I am Kagan of the Kith Gaussian, servant of the mighty Kahad Sajuk. For generations, you have violated the first commandment of our Creator by entering into space. You seek the stars. Now you invade our lands for the second time. Diplomacy has failed. We can tolerate this no longer. The suffering of this war will be nothing compared to the wrath of Sajuk. Long live the people of Kara. We are now behind enemy lines. A Sajet lander carrying with it our sensors manager will rendezvous with us at the Boneyard, a salvage facility to the east. At the Boneyard, we will install the sensors manager, gather additional resources and expedition vehicles before moving out and proceeding to our designated target. The fate of the expedition, and possibly the North itself, now rests on us. Personal log, Intelligence Officer Nathan Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. Our refit is mostly complete, and we're now headed for open desert. Several coalition units were able to link up with us and have joined our ranks. To the north, Gaussian forces are laying siege to our homes. There's no going back. The expedition must carry on. It's hard to believe it's been four years since our satellites detected the Jiraki object. That massive anomaly deep in the uncharted desert, its energy readings rivaling our planet's sun. Rachel thinks 
It could be the source of the new Gaussian technology. Only time will tell. Initial satellite data identified the location of the primary anomaly, along with dozens of secondary targets. We will take a northern route, skirting the Baladin formation. Doing this, we will avoid Gaussian territory and the worst of the deep desert heat. We will then cut south to the primary anomaly, the main goal of our expedition. As Chief Science Officer, Rachel Sajet will sample, analyze, and provide intelligence on these objects as we move deeper into the desert. The carrier Sakala has confirmed they are moving east with significant force and are expected to meet us at these coordinates. East of Cape Wrath, a place known as Hell's Gate. in order to protect Rachel and her team. Kapisi, science team is en route. We've extracted the artifact along with the carrier's backup data drive. Good work, Rachel. I'll have receiving crew standing by. Stand by to power up the recovered artifact. Initiating sensors modification now. Sensor efficiency has been greatly increased, and interference from the storm has been filtered out. Excellent. Contact range increased. With our sensors now operational, we've detected a hostile cruiser supporting the enemy offensive. Engage and destroy the enemy cruiser. Falling back. Enhanced sensors are picking up multiple enemy signatures at the extremity of our range. I've got two carrier class vessels in tow. The Gaussian have located us. We have no choice. We need to keep moving deeper into the open desert. Set course for the Sarathi Basin. Once we arrive, we'll transmit to Sakala our coordinates. Engine crews, stand by to engage maximum power. Personal log, Science Officer Rachel Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. We found my brother's ship, the Afrit Nabal, the flagship of our coalition's lost expedition from four years ago. His fate and that of its crew remains unknown. What happened, Jacob? What did you find out here? What have they done to you? The shipwreck was a coalition carrier, last seen four years ago. The wreck has been ransacked by Galsian troops looking for something. We believe it was the recovered artifact. 
We have also recovered the encrypted first officer's log from the derelict carrier. It belonged to my brother. The data is spotty, but this is what we have deciphered. This is first officer Jacob Sajet of the carrier Ifrit Nabar. 1,256 souls aboard. We've been immobilized by doom collapse. Considerably more artifacts at the Kalash location. This is the first officer of the carrier, Ifrit Nepal, signing off. The Kalash coordinates correspond to this location from the satellite data of four years ago. We will alter course, following the route of our coalition's first expedition. At the Kalash location, we will accelerate resourcing and artifact recovery operations. Course locked in. Person log, Captain Roman Sajet, expedition carrier Capisi. These sandstorms are taking a toll on the old girl, but she's a hell of a ship. We're managing well, considering the haste with which we launched. Our lead science officer, Rachel, is analyzing the artifact we found. She's eager to take risks, which I wouldn't have wagered on after our first meeting. She's also driven as hell. She's giving the intelligence officer fits. My respect for her grows daily. As for the Galcian, their hover technology makes them faster and more maneuverable than our units. They're better equipped for desert conditions too, which is no surprise. But their hit and run tactics, which I've seen before, always leads to something much larger and more dangerous. It's only a matter of time before we are truly tested. For the first time in as long as any of us can remember, we are finally able to shed some light on the history of our planet and conceivably our origins as a people. What we have found here is nothing short of miraculous. An ancient starship lost to the desert for a thousand years. The structural damage it sustained, the compression patterns, the debris footprint, all of it is consistent with atmospheric penetration followed by ground impact. But why did it crash here? What happened? Many questions remain unanswered. 
We know that the satellite data we collected identified hundreds of similar sites scattered throughout the Great Banded Desert. Each one of these could be a wreck just like the clash. It is safe to assume the Galcian have been exploiting these resources for years. Now it's our turn. Composed of exotic materials and compounds not native to our planet, each represents a potential treasure trove of untapped resources and alien technology we can leverage in our fight against the Galcian, and which may well hold the key to our survival on Karak. All crews, prepare to shipbreak. Personal Log, Operations Officer Clea Soban, Expedition Carrier Capisi. How many days have we been out here? Feels like weeks already. We've re-established communication with the North. Reports from Tyr are encouraging. Pockets of resistance have sprung up and are holding Galzian forces at bay. But for how long? Here, crew morale remains high despite the constant engagement with Galzian forces. I can't say enough about the men and women who've signed on, risking their lives for this expedition. Our goal feels almost impossible at times, but there is hope and a will to succeed against all odds. For now, that will have to do. The Ashoka is damaged and on the run. Yet despite the artifacts we've recovered and the upgrades we've made to the Capisi, we are still no match for her speed. Having relocated to a wide debris field deep within the Baladin Dune Sea, the Ashoka appears to be conducting much needed resource operations. 
The Sakala will maneuver to the north and draw the Ashoka away. The Kapisi will then strike directly at the enemy resourcing operations. Once we have wiped out their ground forces, we'll move to eliminate the Ashoka, clearing a path to the site of the primary anomaly. The Sadim have transferred us two bombers to assist in the operation. All units, prepare for battle. resourcing operations. Gaussian production cruisers marked at these positions, likely supporting salvage crews. A security patrol is moving between the three cruiser locations. Destroy all production cruisers and eliminate that patrol. Enemy carrier detected. Moving fast on our location. The Ashoka has arrived. All carrier personnel to battle stations. The Ashoka is heading towards a nearby resource deposit and is at full combat strength. Prepare defenses. What the hell was that? An electromagnetic pulse. Multiple units disabled. Estimate time to recovery. Several minutes. Until then, they're defenseless. You have proved a worthy opponent. But let your joy be tempered with the knowledge that your death is inevitable. There can be no peace on Karak, so long as your Kithid pursue a path to the stars. Personal log, science officer Rachel Sajet, expedition carrier Capisi. Jacob, you're on to something, big brother. The tech the Galsian have recovered from these wrecks, the tech we have found ourselves, is rewriting the book on science and engineering as we know it. Already we are seeing the benefits. You can imagine how excited I am. I only wish you were here to share in this. If we survive long enough to get to the Jiraki object, there's no telling what we'll find. If, I hate that word. We recovered artifact technology from the wreck of the Ashoka and have run it through our diagnostics. The advanced cooling system the Galsian have been using to endure the deep desert heat is unlike anything coalition scientists have been able to develop. I found a way to merge their tech with our existing thermal control assembly, allowing us to shunt additional power to weapons and armor while simultaneously increasing our repair abilities and targeting range. We also uncovered the existence of a Gaussian military base at the edge of the Dune Sea. Adjacent to the base is a resourcing operation. Similar to the plan of attack we used against the Ashoka, the Sakala will engage the enemy first, then pull back, drawing as many defenders away as possible. The Kapisi will then move in and shut down their resourcing operation before turning her attention to the base itself. Imagine how many artifacts 
How much Gaussian research is stored inside that base? All units, prepare to engage the enemy. Substantial resource deposits confirmed. Begin salvaging operations immediately. The cooling system recovered from the Ashoka has been installed. Roger that. Be careful, Rachel. UTC, do you copy? We copy, Sakala. Go ahead. The Galaxy fleet. They should have headed for your position. We are not. We lost transmission, Captain. Galsian forces have split into two groups and are advancing towards the main complex perimeter. They are forming a blockade around the facility to prevent our escape from the blast. Clear a path through the blockade for Rachel to escape. Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Kupisi. The Galcian. Ghosts of the desert. We learn more about our enemy with each passing day. Rachel says they believe in a terrible place where their god, Sajuk, placed his people as punishment for their sins. They refer to it as Kartoba, or First City. They believe their spiritual and military leader, the Kahad Sajuk will become the instrument of God's will and ascend to rule over all of Karak once he enters the temple of Kartoba. Is there a kernel of truth hidden amongst these myths? And if so, what is it? As much a temple as a military installation, the Galsian base was filled with bizarre religious imagery and ancient inscriptions. We also found this recording. Noble and kind people of the desert, the north is suffering. Even now, as their cities thirst for water and their citizens choke on the encroaching desert sands, we seek only peace. Their ascent into space was a violation of the will of Sajjo. Unchecked, they will bring his wrath down upon us all. War has been forced upon us. The North will know us now, no longer as brothers. But by counting the number of their dead, may there be peace on Karak once again. We can expect fiercer resistance ahead. Regardless, we keep moving forward, cutting through the Garaki Highlands here. It's rough terrain. The dangers are many. On the other side lies a heat-ravaged wasteland the Gaussian call Digren, or the Dreamlands. Just beyond lies our ultimate goal. Take a 
Nelsian are evacuating this site. Rex have been identified at these locations. All shipbreaking teams, stand by. Personal Log, Science Officer Rachel Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. It took three years to prepare this expedition. We set out, launching into the unknown, unsure of what we would find. The discoveries we have made have exceeded all our expectations. I have noticed the kith names identified aboard these starships, the insignias. None of them are known to us. Where did these starships come from? Who are these voyagers? Hopefully, my analysis will yield some much needed answers. What we've discovered here is astonishing. These starships, they didn't crash. They materialized inside of solid rock. Data suggests an artificial quantum waveform intercepted these ships during interstellar transit and reassembled them here, underground. I've linked the quantum signature from these ships to the primary anomaly. I believe it's the source of the waveform and responsible for the starship wrecks scattered throughout the Great Banded Desert. Its power is beyond anything we even thought possible. We must reach the primary anomaly and unearth its secrets. Our passage through the Garaki Highlands will be through the Whispering Gallery, a narrow canyon located here. The Sakala will meet us at the mouth of the canyon, and together we will punch through to the Dreamlands on the other side.
Personal log, Captain Roman Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. The Sedim, a loathsome kith if ever there was one. Arrogant, self-righteous. Mashad, the Sakala captain, seems to have an agenda all of his own. He knows more than he's willing to share, I'm sure of it. Unfortunately, it's a tenet of war that you can't always choose your allies. How true. Truth is, we have no choice but to rely on one another. The Gaussian keep throwing wave after wave at us, escalating their attacks, unafraid to sacrifice their forces to hold us at bay. Thankfully, the commanders at Tyr have confirmed our resupply. Without it, we will not be able to complete our expedition. We have been compromised. With the fall of Epsilon Base, Gaussian intelligence acquired the satellite data and coordinates of our expedition's destination. They believe that whatever lies at the center of the Dreamlands, our target, is Kartoba, the birthplace of our existence on Karak, and the key to their ascension. That's not all. Having decrypted the Gaussian base data, I found a message from my brother embedded in the code. Kahad Sajuk's fleet is making for the primary anomaly. With no other choice but to resupply, we need to rendezvous with the Coalition landers inbound from Tyr. Surrounded by desert, the only place they can set down is the Kashar Plateau, located here. Coordinates locked in. Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Capisi. Back home, the tide of war is starting to turn. Our men and women are fighting door to door, reclaiming entire neighborhoods as they push back these Gaussian invaders. But here, the Kahad Sajuk's fleet is approaching our expedition's target as we are forced to sit and wait on landers inbound from Tyr. We are so close. Yet with every hour, we fall further behind our enemy. The future of our expedition depends on those flight crews. Roach, you crazy SOB. You're the best lander pilot I've ever known. If anyone can do this, it's you. You better not have forgotten that bottle I asked for. Capisi, this is Lander 05 Bravo. Do you copy? Copy 05, go ahead. We are inbound on your marker. Emergency fuel critical. We are racing the gauge and we'll only have one chance before our tanks run dry. Understood. We'll have the red carpet rolled out. We must defend the landing zone until our transports arrive. We anticipate Gaussian assaults will come at us through these approaches here. Turrets and mines will prove effective at these choke points. Copy 
Copy, 2-9. You were clear to land. Understood. The Sakala has arrived. Looks like they coordinated their arrival. forces here. Eliminate them in order to clear the landing zone. The Sakala is broadcasting on an open channel. To our coalition brothers and sisters, you have inflicted great devastation upon the Gaussian scum. For that, we applaud your bravery. We will not forget your sacrifice. But our time of ascension is at hand. Only the Sedim and our Kith Sa are of divine origin. Only we can claim the bounty that lies at the heart of this desert. The first city and its secrets belong to us and us alone. Personal log, Captain Roman Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. My instincts were right, the Sedim have betrayed us. They say self-righteousness inevitably leads to treachery, that it's an affliction of the weak-minded. I agree. Mashad will pay for what he has done, and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Thankfully, we're able to retrieve supplies from one of the landers, allowing us to carry on. But Rachel is out there now, alone. I won't let her become another victim of this treachery. Rachel, what is your status? Intel. The ID transponder signal originated from Iraq, a military capital ship that seems to be named Taidan. The Taidan deployed the orbital weapon, then suffered the same fate as the other wrecks, crashing to the surface before the weapon could be enabled. Escaping the Gaussian base, Jacob crossed the wastelands and located the Titan. Coupled with the transponder hidden aboard this ship, he used the trigger to arm the weapon. But without adequate food, water, or protection, he died here. Alone. We're coming for you, Rachel. Hold out until we get there. Understood intel. Science team standing by. Copy. 
located here. Sedim units are attempting to capture her and seize the wreck. Defend Rachel until the Capisi arrives. We have Rachel in sight. Reducing speed. Be advised the Capisi has been operating in the red for hours and she's overheating. The Capisi has taken damage from overheating the drive systems. Our cruisers are trailing behind, but will arrive soon. Intel, I've recovered the transponder and trigger artifact from the Titan wreck. My scan of the area has identified an advanced cooling system in one of the nearby wreck sites. Roger that. Salvaging that artifact is now our main priority. Coolant technology received. Engineering reports installation in progress. We can now focus on the Sedim. They cannot be allowed to acquire the Tidan transponder. Destroy the Sakala. The Sakala has been destroyed. All units, return to the Capisi in preparation for immediate departure. Personal Log, Operations Officer Clea Soban, Expedition Carrier Capisi. Jacob Sajet was alive this whole time. My God, a prisoner of the Galzian for four years. And he stopped them from reaching the Kartoba site. He made the ultimate sacrifice for his people. Now, as we prepare to honor him, we also ready for battle, to finish what we started. I have no idea what the future holds or if I'll be around to see it. But here, now, I am proud to be among these Sajet, to be counted as one of them, a Soban. It has been an honor to serve with them all. Thanks to the sacrifice of Rachel's brother, we finally hold the key to defeating the Gaussian once and for all. The Titan orbital weapon is operational and under our control. Rachel is making final preparations to ensure the fleet's safety as we secure the Kartoba site. Power and discharge protocols in the green, targeting and alignment data is suboptimal. We will require a ground-based scanner network to resolve firing accuracy or nobody will be safe out there. The Kartoba site is located here. The Gaussian fleet is holding their position outside the targeting perimeter. When they realize we have safely entered the site, they will advance and surround us. We will not have much time. Rachel, stand by to deploy. Roger that. and her team into the Kartoba wreck immediately. Time is of the essence. Expect Gaussian forces to arrive shortly. Boards green, reposition. Reading you. Cleared to move.
conducting preliminary scan. Quantum signature verified. The site appears undisturbed. Pristine. I'm going in. Copy that, Rachel. We need to set up the scanner network so I can build a targeting matrix. I can direct the beam once the network is in place. To establish the targeting matrix, deploy scanners at these locations. Scan complete. Preparing targeting matrix. Set me. Wait. up something. It's all around us. It's incredible. An entire city buried beneath the sand. This, this must be it. This must be Kartoba. The first city of Karak. It's, it's real. Detecting a Gaussian carrier crossing the perimeter. Fire when ready. Let's see what this thing can do. The truth of our origins is only now being revealed. Descendants of the great derelicts of Karak. We are all one. We are all Kushan. My brother said, salvation lay in the desert. It's too early to know for sure if he was right. But one thing is certain. This is not the end. But rather, a new beginning for us all.